welcome back. Today is day two and we are going to be setting SMART goals today. You should have just watched a YouTube video about SMART goals, what they are, and uh, saw some examples of some SMART goals. Next in your planner um, was the STEAM Innovation Planner main page. This needs to be moved to be your first slide up here. While you do that, you also need to go up here and you need to rename your planner. At this point, you should know if you're working with a partner or not, and you need to name it your name and your partner's name. So if we had Sue and David working on this, then we need to do that. In the top left corner, you just double click and that's how you can type there. Um, down here you need to have your challenge topic, your class period, and again you and your partner's name. With this being your first slide, it makes it easy for Ms. Miles to see whose planner she's looking at and grading. Now if we go back down to SMART goal right here, we have two different slides that you can use today. You do not have to use them both. Again, you do not have to use them both. You can write your SMART goal in paragraph format right here. Oops. Or you can go to this chart and you can fill out your SMART goal here, okay? When you're filling out your SMART goal, I need you to be specific. I need you to tell me what challenge topic you're doing, what materials you're going to need. I need to see exactly what you're going to be doing over the next eight days. If you think, I have no idea what I'm going to do for the next eight days, break it down and start planning out maybe the next two or three days. So you could say, you know, Tuesday I plan on finishing this, Wednesday I plan on finishing this, Thursday I'll finish this. And by that time, you'll be down to the day five slide um, where you will be revising your SMART goal. And you'll be putting your goal you made on day two right here in this section and then you'll read these questions and answer and add what you're going to be doing for your after area. All right. So choose either this or this. Again, if you're in this section, I will not accept. I started typing an example there. I will not accept for you to just say iMovie. That is not specific whatsoever. You need to tell me what you're doing, whether it's a commercial, are you filming with your iPad, do you need a tripod, do you need actors, do you need me to print things for you, will you be using a green screen? So you need to make sure you're very specific here. And then measurable, how long will it be, what are you planning to include, video clips, pictures, attainable. How am I going to know that you're going to be able to do this? Don't set a goal that's going to be way too difficult for yourself. Do something that is that, that you could actually accomplish in eight days. Um, relevant right here. This is probably the most important, as I've said before. It needs to be related to school, STEAM, or the real world. And if you say that it's connecting to technology, you can't just say computers because it's tech. Or you can't say art. Oh, I'm using different colors. It needs to have a strong connection. And the stronger the connection, the better off your grade will be. And lastly, timely. That's when you could break down that. You know, Tuesday I'm going to be doing this. Wednesday I'm going to be doing this. Thursday I plan on doing this. Um, so break down what tutorials you're watching, when you're going to finish your planners um, or your storyboards and you will have a great goal for yourself that you'll be able to stay focused and make sure that you can um, finish everything on time. Good luck and um, just wanted to show you really quick up here these links. If there's anything that's blue with the underline, it means there's a link. So if you click on it, then you can visit and you can see here's a little bit of help for you to see um, what each of these letters mean and you can break that down. Underneath, there's also a smart goal presentation. You can take a quick look through um, if you're still needing some help. And this also has some example goals towards the end. So that's going to also be really helpful to you as well to see what other goals people have set before. Good luck, and if you need help, let me know.